welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying this solid glue, solid builder gel kit or solid glue gel kit. It is from the brand Morovan. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I did get this from Timu and it was in my last Timu haul. In that haul, I also picked out a bunch of other goodies. So if you haven't watched it, make sure you go ahead and go watch that video. I will have it linked up in the cards, but I got a lot of comments asking for me to try this builder gel kit. I did actually pick up two of these kits. This one is the smaller one, and then I also have a larger one. So let me know if you guys also want me to try that larger kit. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing this smaller kit, and then I'm also going to be using the products inside to do a nail set. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Um, on the back, it does show some warning, storage, manufacturer, products, address, design. So it just has a little bit of information on the box, but let's open this up and see what all is inside. So in my Timu video, I didn't open anything. Um, I kind of just pulled a couple of items out, but I don't know exactly what all is included in this kit. So let's take a look. The first thing I see is this little flower silicone mold, and there's just four little flowers on here. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can use this to make your own DIY charms using the nonstick hand gel. The next item included in the kit is this silicone tool. I feel like this would be great for when you're like putting the solid gel into this form or into this like mold. Um, you can also use this um, instead of your hand if you'd rather use a tool. And then I believe everything else in here, oh wait, what's this? Oh, okay, so we have the product list. And then this is also the little instruction manual. So in here, step-by-step -step and pictures on how to use this product. And then we also have the product list. So it looks like there's gonna be a clear, white, pink, nude, and a glitter. So let's go ahead and pull these out and take a look at them. Here is the first one. This one is pink. These are 15 ml, so that's a pretty good size. I'm really curious what the consistency is going to be for this solid glue gel or builder gel. There's a lot of different names. I keep calling it something different. But we have the pink, the white, clear. Um, this one is the glitter and then we have nude. So I want to open these up and take a look. I'll go ahead and open the nude one. Okay, so they do all come sealed, which is good. I just hope that these seals are easy to remove. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the seals and then I'll come back and we'll take a look at the consistency and also all of the colors together. So we have the nude, the pink, white, this beautiful glitter that has some flower sequins. It also has some like red and gold glitter. And then we also have a clear. The consistency for these solid builder gels are a little bit stiff. And I feel like the reason for that is just because they're a little bit cold. Like I've mentioned in past videos, if you are struggling with your solid builder gels being a little too stiff, hard to work with, you can always take a little bit of the product out and warm it up just in between your fingers. You can also like take the um, jar and put it in between your thighs. That will help warm it up. Another way that you can warm up the product is soaking it in a bowl of warm water, just making sure the lid is on and then letting it sit in the warm water for a little bit. That will definitely help um, soften up the product. You can see I pulled out a little ball here and just playing with it between my fingers really changed the consistency and definitely softened it up and is just going to allow me to work with it a lot easier. Um, as for the clear and the glitter, they are also still like a stiffer consistency. I just wanted to mention that because normally a clear would be a little bit stickier, but it is still great quality. The clear is a little bit softer than um, the like 
colored ones and the one with the glitter in it, but still it isn't sticking to me. It isn't too sticky. These are really good quality and I can't wait to use these and do a nail set with them. I do love all five of the colors, but honestly, I really want to try this glitter one. It's also so perfect for spring because it has like the little flower sequins in it. So I think this is the one that I'm going to use in today's video. I'm also going to be using full cover nail tips just because in my last solid builder gel I did use dual forms and then I know the bigger kit that I got actually includes dual forms. So if you guys want me to try that kit I will be using the provided dual forms and using this brand solid builder gel with dual forms. But in today's video I decided I wanted to go ahead and try this product with some full cover nail tips. Okay, so I went ahead and went in with my peel-off base coat. I did gently buff over the surface of my peel-off base coat just to ensure that the nails stick a little bit better. Um, with a peel-off base coat and like solid builder gels, I noticed that it works a little too good sometimes. So I just wanted to buff over the shiny surface of my peel-off base coat. Of course, if you guys want your nails to last, you would go in with natural nail prep to ensure that the nails last for um, two plus weeks or even longer. I do have videos on my channel where you can check out how I like to prep my nails. But in today's video, I just have my peel off base coat and I'm now ready to size out my nail tips. The nail tips that I'm using today are these medium almond nail tips. These are some full cover nail tips and I also got these from Timu. So I'm just gonna go in and size these out. When I'm sizing them out, one thing that I just wanna be sure is that the nail tip is fitting from sidewall to sidewall without me needing to press or push it to fit. I just want Want to gently place the nail tip on and see if it fits from sidewall to sidewall. Here are my nails after I have them all sized out and they actually fit me really well. If your nail tips do not fit you perfectly, you can always take a hand file and file the nails to customize them and help to get the perfect fit. So I'm going to be using this nail stand. That way when I go in with my boater gel, it's I'm easily able to like hold the nail tip. I pulled out a little bit of the solid boater gel. I'm just um, moving it around in my fingers to warm it up a little bit. And then I'm going to place it into the nail tip. I obviously got way too much here. So let me just pull some of that out. Something else I do want to mention, because this is a gel product, you do not want to touch it with your bare hands. You definitely do want to wear a glove or even use that silicone tool that was provided in this kit. I just pulled off the flower sequin, so I'm gonna try to get that back because there's no flower sequins in this nail. Okay, I got it back. Maybe I can keep it there. I really did use too much product in this nail and it's quite hard to not touch it. Okay. I think these are gonna turn out really cute. I like how it's like a clear gel with very small amount of glitter in it. I'm now gonna place it down onto my natural nail. And the good thing about this product is it's a solid builder gel, so it allows you to work with it. You can move it around, you can clean it up, and I really like that. So now that I have it in place, I am going to cure it in my nail lamp. You can, of course, also do a flash cure, but I'm just gonna go in and do a full 60 second cure. And now I have the first nail applied. It's looking really good, and I really like the glass look to it, like with the very small amounts of glitter and the clear gel. I'm now going to move on to the next nail and I'm gonna try to do this one a little bit better by not using as much gel because really you don't need much gel at all. 
So I'm just gonna pop in a small amount of gel and then I'm going to spread it out. I like using my fingers, just wearing a glove. You can, like I said, use that silicone tool that was included in the kit, but I feel like the best thing about this product is that you can touch it. It's not like a sticky product. So after I have it all smoothed out and into the nail tip, I'm just gonna place it onto my natural nail. If you are wanting to use dual forms, you would do the exact same process, but you would just be um, smoothing it into a dual form instead of a full cover nail tip and then placing it on and doing my cure. And now I'm just going to repeat this process to all of the other nails. This is actually very easy and going by super quick. Also, I'm really loving the consistency of this solid builder gel. I feel like just moving it around a little bit in my fingers, pulling a small ball out, it really just softens it up to the perfect consistency and really just allows me to press it into the nail tip and smooth everything out. Place it onto my nail, it stays in place for me to remove any product that I don't need or the product that's on my skin. And then I just cure the nail tip and because it's a solid boater gel, I don't have to hold the nail tip in place, which is really nice. So like I said, just gonna repeat this process to all of the other nails and then I will come back after I have all of the nails applied. And just like that, all of the nails are applied. I cannot tell you guys how easy that was to do. Like that took no time whatsoever. And I didn't have that footage sped up. I just cut out the curing time and you could really see how quick and easy that was. And the nails are almost finished. Like I can't even believe it. So I'm now going to do my filing. I don't really have much filing to do because I used full cover nail tips. I also wanna say that these nails aren't super thick. You can see, um, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of questions, but like asking, isn't using full cover nail tips making the nails super thick? It does not make them super thick at all. I feel like they're pretty much the exact same as if I were to apply applied them and then went in with my color polish and my top coat. So it doesn't change the full cover nail tips. Also, it just, I feel like it adds a little bit more strength to the nail tips. So for my filing, I'm just gonna start with a hand file and crisp up the nail shape. I'm also going to go in with my e-file and just take that around the cuticle area to remove any spillage and also to help seal in the cuticle. I'm also going to take a buffer and remove the shine.
after I'm all finished filing and buffing, I'm just going to take a dust brush to remove all of the nail dust. And here are the nails after I'm all finished filing. They're looking really good. I'm now going to take my no wipe top coat and I'm going to apply this to the top side of the nails. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and then I'm also going to apply it to the underside of the nails and cure that for 30 seconds. And to keep things very simple, I have this diamond glue gel and these golden butterfly charms from Timu. And this is just what I'm going to use to finish off the nail set. And that's it, a very simple nail set. I'm now going to take my cuticle oil, I'm going to apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here are the finished nails. The only complaint I have is that near the tips of the nails, you can see a little bit of like bubbles it isn't super clear and i feel like one reason for that is because the texture of my gloves i think like pushing the gel like gave it like a sort of like a texture to it because i even went in with a layer of top coat i brushed away all of the dust i cleaned the dust out and then i went in with top coat and you can still see those bubbles so it may be just because I have a texture on my gloves. That's my only complaint though. I think this product is super great and I would probably say that if you're using like one of the pinks or the white or the nude, you wouldn't have that um, issue like seeing the bubbles. The nails still do look clear, but looking at them up close or like having something behind them, you can see like little like almost like bubbles. But I think these turned out really cute. I love how delicate they are. Just having like a clear nail with some um, like glitters and some flower sequins and then that little gold butterfly. I think these are so perfect, very delicate. If you like delicate nails, this is definitely the way to go or like a nail inspiration set for you. I think it turned out really cute and I do really love these um, builder gels. Like I mentioned, I did get this from Timu. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. And then I also do have a larger kit that I want to use. I think it has some more like fun, colorful colors in it. And that kit also includes some dual forms. So next time I try that, if you guys want me to, be sure you do comment below. Here is the finishing look of these nails. And I feel like with this angle, you can really see like the the bubbles or like almost the texture in the tips. When I pressed it onto my natural nail, it didn't have that because it pressed against a surface that was flat. So I don't really know how to fix that. Um, it does kind of bother me. I feel like it takes away from how cute the nail set is. But either way, I still really like this product. Like I said, I will have it linked down below in the description box. And I can't wait to try the other kit. I had so much fun with this one. And it was really super easy. Like, I'm sure this video isn't going to be long at all. Just because how quick it was for me to apply these nail tips. And then very minimal filing. So I really like how these turned out. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.